So, I mean, what is what is the main difference between like Lasix and Demodex, which are, for people who don't know, those are the two main loop diuretics? They used to both be made in injectable and oral. Lasix is still made in injectable. You said Demodex is, is discontinued in, in injectable. The injectable used to be a reconstitute with powder and water. You add the water to the powder. And it would be for like people that suffered from pulmonary edema really bad and they needed to get like, you know, 10, 15 pounds of fluid away from their, out of their body around their, their heart. And it, you would take this, they would add it to the IV and they would, it would get rid of the water around the heart. Um, so that's, that was one. Now injectable Lasix is used for that in, in the hospitals for, you know, for those, for those reasons. In bodybuilding, the oral Lasix has a bad rap because it's a loop diuretic and Demodex people are taking it and they don't even realize it's in the exact same class as Lasix, except it's longer lasting. And the oral Demodex, the problem with it is, is that, you know, if you have food in your stomach, it's going to delay the reaction. And if the reaction, cause the loop diuretic is like flushing a toilet. So it's got a like that. So if you delay that, it's kind of like, you know, when your toilet's got a little leak and it just, she kind of fills the tank up and a little bit goes down you know, like that. So that's why I like the injectable Asics better because you guaranteed when you take it, it's going to work in a certain amount of time. And that's that. Um, but Demodex is very popular to drive people out. And when you see people losing like that amount of weight, usually you don't hear about coaches giving bodybuilders injectable Lasix. I probably one of the few bodybuilding coaches that would even think about using it on someone, but that's cause I'm not scared of all the bullshit stories that people say about it. It's a superior drug, just like any other injectable is to an oral it's superior. And if you understand that and you're not ignorant to a bunch of bullshit stories about why so-and-so may have died and it's not true, you know, then, you know, that's your brain. You take the oral Demodex, you will get really, really dry, but a lot of people will get them flat because they, they should take potassium with it also. With bodybuilding, the reason that it, it tends to work good, take it the night before the show, they drop the water and then later on when it blocks the sodium, that's when they're eating the shittier food to fill out when it drops that last bit. So it kind of works. You have to know how to eat with it. That's the big key for me at night. And I, I check this every night, every day, every night, every time I urinate, every time I have bowel movement, I strip down and check my weight. So I can tell when I have food in my inside and I know how much I weigh without anything. And overnight I have one urination and, uh, sometime either between four and six AM. And then if I, if I sleep past six AM or shortly thereafter, there'll be another urination and usually a bowel movement when I wake up. Okay. Um, the combination of that is 3.6 pounds on average. Um, so without any diuretics, I wake up very, very flat. And I think, the reality is, is I, I don't need the diuretics, but the, but the, the extreme measures of potassium loading that I do, the look that it gives me by pulling the water in the cell, it's the diuretics, like I said, just get rid of the, of the potassium, but the potassium loading, man, that's, that's the thing right there. Because when you do that, you got that full dry look that it's just so hard to time it with diuretics without it. Uh, and again, you know, if, if you use that much potassium, then you can use that much Lasix. Do you need to use as much of both? Well, it depends on how much sub Q water you have. If you, every time you do it, you're going to get rid of some. So you do two, three, you know, spaced out between the night before, whenever you stop drinking the water or cut back on the sodium, Every six to eight hours, you do some Lasix, but you've also got potassium loaded in you already and potassium while you're doing it too. So, you know, you get, you lower the potassium with the Lasix and, you know, let's say normal is here. So you're still way loaded before the Lasix, you were up here dangerous. Take the Lasix, you're still potassium loaded, add more potassium, add more potassium, take the Lasix, add more potassium, you know, and every time you do it, you're getting more and more sub Q water out. 
and so you do that and you keep you know the ultimately it's as it pulls up water it's you know swelling a little bit too and then it gets to a point where you're dry you're you're as dry and you're almost flat you're you're dry and you're and that's when you're like that's the sodium time and if you don't have gas from from cheese and shit like that pizza um you know it, the night before cuz you your stomach is going to get distended from eating pizza period you have to get that done the night before so you wake up in the morning the the, the day of the show you should have a, a good bowel movement that's the goal and it's hard when you take the diuretics to have a bowel movement so you it may be for some people and I'm one of them that I I have to push everything off to the very end so I've already taken, I've already had the bowel movement because once I initiate with the diuretics, because there's already so much potassium in me, my in, colon and intestines get dry and it's hard for the things to keep moving down. It's happened to me in the past, so I know. And I feel as if I would have just had that bowel movement, I would have been, you know, so much better. His stomach would have been so much flatter. And when you have a, a really uh, small hips, I have small hips because I'm a little guy. So I have small hips and the muscles uh, looks nice on it. The small bones, the small joints look nice, but also just a little bit of distension in the waist fucks the whole thing up. <laughs>